Hey guys, Austin Swain here to give you my three favorite picks of this weekend. Week four in college football conference play kicking off. That means we have some great matchups across the board. Here are my three favorite bets of the weekend. It starts in the early afternoon, an ACC clash between the Clemson Tigers and Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Give me Wake Forest plus seven and a half here. And it's kind of because this line doesn't make very much sense. You think Wake Forest got blown out last year in Death Valley, lost by 21, gave up over 300 yards on the ground. Well, I think their rushing defense is a little bit improved. They're 64th in yards per attempt so far in FBS. That's at least a little better than they were last year and importantly I think Wake Forest has the right matchup against Clemson you cannot run on them so Sam Hartman A.T. Perry a dynamic wide out on the outside for them and they're 32nd in pass rate in FBS so they're comfortable they do not need their rushing game to get offense going and up tempo high scoring offense I think Hartman back really helps the Demon Deacons here give me the Demon Deacons plus seven and a half on the spread but certainly I think they could upset Clemson at home in a game they probably had circled since that embarrassing loss last year from the ACC we travel to the SEC Arkansas and Texas Stadium battling this one not at Kyle Field or Razorback Stadium it's in Jerry World in Arlington Texas on the neutral field give me the Razorbacks here plus two and a half points I had Texas A&M last week they covered the spread here's why I'm not going back to them they were still terrible on offense they're 93rd in FBS in yards per play Max Johnson did not fix anything at quarterback for the Aggies he only completed 50% of his throws against a Miami defense that might not even be as good as Arkansas's and Arkansas on the other side here they're a workhorse offense when you look at KJ Jefferson dual threat playmaker, Heisman contender, Raheem Sanders productive out of the backfield, Jadon Hazelwood, Trey Knox are a couple of NFL targets on the outside. This is a way different offense than they faced last week. They barely squeaked out of cover against Miami thanks to a muffed fumble. This absolutely is the public side here. Arkansas getting more attention as betters are concerned. I think they've got this one right because just a huge difference at quarterback for the Razorbacks. I like them to win outright in Jerry World. We transition to my bet of the weekend. Wisconsin and Ohio State battling in Columbus at the shoe give me the Badgers plus 17 and a half and this is a Wisconsin team I picked to win the Big Ten before the season it was on the basis of their dynamic duo in the backfield Graham Mertz senior quarterback he's played well completing 71% of his throws Braylon Allen if you don't know who he is he might even be a higher draft pick than Jonathan Taylor he is a three down workhorse he's rushed for at least 86 yards in every game this year so far he's going to be trouble for an even an Ohio State rush defense that's played so well so far this year you look at Wisconsin despite the loss a couple weeks ago against Washington State they're still ESPN SP Plus's 15th best team in the country and 6th on the defensive side of the ball. They can slow down CJ Stroud and the Buckeyes. I absolutely think they cover the spread in a lower scoring contest here, but don't be surprised if this one's within a score late and the Buckeyes are on upset alert to Wisconsin.